Oh, Rareware. This is when they were actually good and they were kind of creative. Yep. So anyway, I'm Demon Trigger. And I am Zane. And this is a game featuring monkeys. Mm -hmm. One thing I loved about DKC3 was the, the music. Yeah. Even from the... So, oh. uh, as I say, this, the game was released in uh, late 1996, which was like after the N64 came out. Yeah, that's probably why they had 1996 on there. Well, yes, that is... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, that part was automatic because it just takes you to the uh, save cave here where we meet Wrigley Kong. Yeah, and they were actually nice enough to give you saves whenever you needed it instead of just... Oh, hey, remember treetops? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, she has an N64 right there. Oh, wow, I never noticed that. Really? No, no, oh. I I didn't. Huh. But yeah, she was in the previous game where she taught a college, and then in DK64 she died, but her ghost still helps you. It, it was like... This is something obvious. You should do it. Yeah. And this is Bizarre Bear. There are a whole bunch of the Bear Brothers around everywhere, and they... You have to talk to them and do various side quests and stuff. Would you say that those side quests are... Bizarre? Oh... So yeah, we could buy either of those things, but we don't have any money, so... We gotta leave. Nothing much doing here. So let's go to the only other place we can go, which would be Funky's place. I imagine Funky's a jack of all trades. Yeah. He seems, he seems to be a really good mechanic all the time. Oh, hey, and there's our uh, partner, Kitty Kong, who is basically Donkey Kong, but a uh, child. And s somehow slightly less retarded. Yeah. <laughs> Also, uh, Funky Kong is giving it basically being game facts here and telling us how to do things. So good for him. I'm gonna run a motorboat here because this is all we can use right now. Because D Dixie cannot swim like the t like the beginning showed us. Yeah. Well, no, it, you just can't swim over those rocks. It's the <laughs> Funky's house is the only way to get to the other side of the lake. I hated these. I hated these so much. What, you don't like Simon? No, no. Fuck you, Simon. Aw. Well, yeah, it's the, uh, the color... LP or not the game. <laughs> but the, uh, the colors for the buttons are also the same as the uh, normal Famicom controller, so... Yeah, that, that always... that always was like, wait, why are they... these colors? And then I saw the Famicom controller and I was like, oh, that's actually yeah. kind of clever. So yeah, you can push select to switch Kongs, and you can use A to pick them up and throw them, so you can find hidden uh, extra lives. There's lots of hidden stuff everywhere, you just gotta check on top of things and under things. I have to admit, I have never actually beaten this game. Also, a secret thing here is that in the first two worlds there are warp barrels, and if you find one, it takes you right to the end. Wow. But we're not gonna be doing that because that's for babies. And also, you can't get 100% by doing that, because you have to find the bonus barrels. Oh. Now, when you use Dixie and you pick up a Kitty, he's really heavy and he breaks the floors, but uh, Funky already told us that. And now we gotta collect stars. Do you just have to just... find them, or do you actually have to beat the uh, bonus as well? Uh, you have to... What are you talking about for the stars, or...? To get 100%. Uh, yeah, you have to find all the bonus coins in this game to get 100%. Oh, right, right. Also, you gotta find these guys. Oh. With the... I want that trash can lid. I can't jump on him, because he's smart and he pushes me away. So, you hit him in the back. That's the only way you can kill them, is with a steel barrel to the back, because the steel barrels are the only ones that, uh, bounce. Did they... I forgot. Did... When did they implement that? Did they do that in Donkey Kong Country 2? I think one had steel barrels in it, but you don't ever use them for anything. Oh no, the the DK coin, sorry. Oh, yeah, they were in two, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. They didn't do anything, but if you found all of them, you were an awesome guy and you got 100%. Or I think 102, or if that was with the, uh, the barrel list thing. 
do they do anything so, yeah, special here? So yeah, green bananas, uh, they randomly appear. If you don't pick one up for a while, it'll disappear and reappear somewhere else. And these are usually the hardest of the bonus games. Just because they make you navigate around in hazards while collecting them, so... Ooh, I... Pretty challenging later. I noticed the clock kept ticking down when you, uh... When you were getting the coin. Could you just wait it out and never... Yeah, you can run out of time before you get the coin and... Then that won't be a good thing. Oh, dick move, game. Dick move. But anyway, Ellie the Elephant here is gone because... We can't take her past those uh, signs, but she can uh, bring barrels to her with her trunk or uh, do other things that we won't see yet. Th have you noticed this game is promoting poaching? Ellie died, and then you got money for it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, anytime you take one of the animals past one of those no animal signs, you get goodies for it, usually. So yes, this game does promote poaching. Also stomping rats. I was about to say, if you're gonna go and stomp all those rats, you're not gonna make it to the shutter in time. Yeah. And there's a trap door right there that in case you screw up the door and you have to go back. I actually... Yeah, no. DKC3 had my favorite buzzies. I've, oh, oh, you mean the uh, bus hobbies? Yeah. Yeah. I think they do look cooler than just plain old bees from the other two. This one's kind of weird, though. You have to throw a kitty up there so that you, you'll you be as Dixie and you can uh, hover over to the bonus barrel. That always, that always, like, confused me as a kid. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you could throw him that high, but you can. I don't know. Anyway, more stars because, uh, that's all we have. <laughs> the, the bonus games at the beginning are really easy. You, you would have to actively try to screw some of them up. I mean, it's just... You just, it just gives so much time that it's not even an issue. Oh yeah, that's right. Just, just like, so, so it promotes that you get the checkpoints. Like, it just in case. No, no, you really yeah. need to get these. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way to avoid it unless you use the cheat code that uh, removes all the barrels and the checkpoint barrels. Oh, and apparently these doors are made of forever. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> I like his death stream, though. Yes. It's hilarious. He, he, uh, he has the best. Yes. It, it sounds like Matt after he, beat, after he plays Le League of Legends. Oh, <laughs> in jokes. Oh. But um, anyway, when you lose one of your partners, you have to find a DK barrel because that's where they'll be. Do they ever have the throwable DK barrel since one? I don't remember. Uh, I don't think so. I actually, I think there was some in the in this. I think I threw one earlier. But didn't mention it. But I don't think two had any. I don't remember. I personally love this uh, DK over two. I I didn't like. I mean, Donkey Kong Country two was pretty awesome as well. But yeah, I, I think the bosses here were way more creative. Hmm, I could agree with that. I mean, it, this game is certainly not a bad game in any way, so they perform. But a lot of people compare it to two, and usually the comparison is that two is just better. But I mean, I like this game too. I like I like all of them equally. I do like two a lot, also. So you know, and I tried to be slick here, and that didn't work. Yeah, no. Uh, generally, things with moving blades are bad to touch. Yeah. So yeah, I accidentally picked up the barrel, but show off that the trash can also blocks the uh, barrels too. So we had to figure out this devious puzzle. Uh, they get they get way more devious. Oh god, yeah. they get way more devious. <laughs> yes. I particularly hate there's a couple of them where you have like one chance, and if you screw it up, you're you have to do the level over again. Yeah, it pissed I... me off so bad. Yeah, I hate those ones so much. 
And now we get to go swimming again. Oh. We get to go visit another bear. Barnacles, huh? Mm-hmm. I forgot, where are all the bears, like, B-named? Yeah, I think they all start with a B. Also, a shell collection, huh? Hmm. I wonder. And, oh, look at that. that that's a banana bird. Ooh, yeah. Well, we're gonna have to get that bird somehow. Oh, well, since we got money, we can get that shell. Oh, yay! Fetch quest! Only five coins? Wow. You hope you're happy to- what?! <laughs> Douchebags! Huh? Is it like I'm gonna marry the shell? What the- what- what is wrong with you? Oh, whatever. Let's go give it to the old- the old other bear. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Oh, oh, whatever. I don't care enough about the shell. I didn't know Dixie was a pirate. Arr, <laughs> I be keeping my shell. Well, everybody knows all sailors are pirates. <laughs> only, only pirates go on the water. Also, a secret up here that you wouldn't notice because it's it, the background doesn't look as noticeable. So you wouldn't think to go up here. And they always have those, uh... Oh, this thing in the foreground can't... Make sure you can't pass... Cast past it into the background. Yeah, the, uh, the... You wouldn't think to go... That you'd be able to go under the bridge, either. But bridges are bridges, you can go under them, so... And now we're gonna move on to another dock level. Well, we don't have a partner, so we can't get up there yet. So we gotta come back for that. Also, I don't even need to touch the water. I can just helicopter over everything. And this is why Dixie Kong is the best Kong. Yes. <laughs> gotta get some barrels so we can get this asshole dead. Yeah. Also, something that you don't notice is that you can use Kitty to skip across the water. Oh, yeah! That's actually kind of cool, but I don't think it really, uh, plays very w much. Uh, you- you need to use it a couple of times, uh, in fact, one of those you'll see coming up soon. But for right now, we gotta go over here because I forgot to go get something, so I gotta go back. Whoops. Also, one thing I love about those, uh, barrel kremlings is that you can pretty much, uh, make sure that anything you use, you, you could drown them. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's so good for that uh, wooden barrel that you have. Yeah, it, even the, the the normal ones can't even hurt you, so it's just kind of dumb. They just bump you around. But yeah, the, we got a uh, transformation barrel which turns you into the animal as opposed to just riding it. Usually, if, usually if you have to ride it, it means it's optional for that session, but. Barrels are usually mandatory, so you're stuck as that animal for usually an entire stage. Excuse me, if this is a 100% run, why'd you leave that coin behind? Well, the coin respawns anyway, so... It doesn't really matter at this point. No excuses. Whatever. <laughs> so yeah, this is one of the points where you need to use the, the skipping across the water thing, and I don't quite do it. Also, the only way to get back up there is with those enemies, so you have to kill yourself. If you want to try again. That or you have to do the whole level over again. That's not fun. What's with, this the, time we'll... what's with the fat pigeon? Oh. Yeah, they have items when you kill them. They, that's pretty much all they're good for. They don't really fight you in any way or shape. So yeah, this one is incredibly easy because Straight I don't know why you would ever yeah I don't know why you'd ever use the rope unless you suck at bouncing off dates and even if you fail the bonus game it respawns you right under the bonus barrel so you don't have to do the skipping across the water thing again which is nice because you probably wasted like five or six lives doing it in the first place but at least we got one of them back. 
Get out of here, barrel guy. Oh, there's a crack there. I wonder what you gotta do. Hmm. Oh yeah, that, that's also the, the most obnoxious thing in the world. Yeah. Also, you, he walked really slow while carrying him, so it's hard to reposition. Skidder's row. I actually like that. That's kind of a clever thing. Most of most of the names are just like alliteration type stuff, but that one was. I kind of like it. <laughs> also, I like those enemies. Oh, just like oh, I can't, I can't run on this ice. Ah. Yep, yeah, of course. So the clap traps, though, they're the only ones. Are they clap traps at this point, or are they? Yeah, I think they're still clap traps. Yeah, if you if you roll them from the front, they'll just bite you, which will uh, kill you. So don't do that. Speaking of rolling, I'm gonna roll into this guy. I don't know. And that and that's basically the only penalty for losing is that you don't get to do it. But you can go backwards and try again. Twirling's kind of like rolling. It, it's it, it's it's a horizontal roll instead of a vertical one. Yeah, but ki the kitty's roll is better for killing things like that. So Ooh, two for one. Way to go. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that coin respawns every time, so you can just go in the bonus barrel forever and just keep getting money. Not that the not that the bear coins really matter that much. You, you, you need them to buy, like, things for side quests, but that's it. You don't buy any, like, uh... You don't need them to, like, save your game like they did in 2. That was obnoxious. Oh, yeah. You had to pay two coins for every time you wanted to save your game. I, I hated that. It's like, you can't save without a save crystal. Ah, uh, fuck you, I want to. <laughs> And yeah, this isn't a this isn't this actually isn't a kill everything uh, room, but you pretty much have to anyway, or else you're gonna get hit. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't kill everything unless you're doing like a pacifist run or something, which would be weird, I guess. And we know that all Kongs are uncivil creatures anyway, so they would kill everything. Yes, <laughs> yes they're all violent murderers. Every single one of them, even Candy Kong. Alright, well, we're moving on to the last normal level of this world. Murky Mill. Yep. So, yeah, everything's really dark. And also, you could farm here for bananas as well. Because you can just, after you beat the level once, you can uh, exit out of the level at any time. So, you can just do that over and over again. If you want to grind for lives like some sort of wimp. I don't know. I find I find that extra lives are in enough of an abundance that you don't need to worry about that kind of shit. But whatever. So yeah, there's lights and there's rats, and Ellie the elephant is scared of rats. Oh right, right, yeah, that's. So if you if she sees a rat under the light, she'll run away at the first opportunity, and that usually means you'll run into something and get hurt or killed. So you have to use barrels to take them out of the to take them out while they're in the light. Or sometimes they walk in and out of the light, and you can just stomp on them. Although oddly enough, if you get scared and you still land on the rat, it will still hurt you, even though you jumped on top of it. Technically, huh. it, it's weird. can you get scared know. in the air? Uh, yeah, you can. There's pretty much nothing you can do to avoid getting scared other than taking out the rats. Also shooting bees. It's really easy. And <laughs> putting in place. Some weird, like, ghost walking shit, I don't know. Uh, Ellie's a jogger. <laughs> She's gotta keep her BPM up. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah then we this one takes preemptive victory dance. Ever. <laughs> Just because of the angle you have to throw to the barrel. Yeah. Oh, and also we have uh, red bus obbies, which are completely invulnerable, and there's nothing you can do to kill them. I just the don't think you're trying hard enough. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if they're completely invulnerable, wouldn't you think there'd be more creatures like that in the world? 
I don't know. I, I don't know why they why they don't make everything just completely invulnerable in a lot of situations where there are things like that. Like, why doesn't Dr. Wily make a, a thing made completely out of Metar helmets or something? <laughs> didn't didn't he in Mega Man 4? Oh, uh, I don't remember. I don't know. Well, I mean, there was the giant Metar, and it was pretty much, hey, the worst I think boss ever. Yeah, I think I think Anchor is made out of that stuff, but he's like, there's like a flaw or something, sort of plot device thing that lets him get killed anyway, despite being made of completely invulnerable material. Damn you, B. And that's why all Gundams are bad, because the only thing that they do is have it's plot armor. <laughs> And yeah, you just saw there that you can still land on the ran and get hurt. Even though, uh... Even though you land on top of him just because you're freaked out. I don't know. Mm. Trade in Ellie's delicious ivory for money. Yes. Swanky. Now we gotta go visit another of our relatives. Oh god! Yeah, swanky. <laughs> creepy motherfucker. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I, I like how his head looks pretty much like Donkey Kong, except he has big teeth. I don't know why that is. Because they don't even, they don't even look like teeth. It looks like he just has like milk lips or something. Because when you're swanky, you, you got you got the pearly whites, and you got to show. <laughs> he ate too many powdered donuts. I don't know. So yeah, there's three different game modes to pick from. We're gonna go through all of them eventually, but right now we'll just do head to head. Oh, and hey, look, look who it is. Oh, but I like quizzes. Quizzes are fun. Oh well. So yeah, the goal is to get three more, uh, three more targets than he does, and he hits none of them in this, so that was an easy win. <laughs> I like the idea that he is pretty, <laughs> that he, um, because in the other games you talk about how much of a good gamer he is, and he does like the same kind of shit that <laughs> most people do. It's like, God, uh, lag, lag, jeez. Uh, it's all the controller's fault. So yeah, we're gonna go in this angry looking barn here. Surely nothing bad could happen here. This ominous music doesn't mean anything. Oh god, a barrel! <laughs> oh god, yes. So yeah, this is Belcha. It actually can't hurt you for some reason. It, only the little bugs that come out can. And you can't really do much to hurt him. Other than... I always found that the, the hitbox is kind of off on his teeth. Yeah. But if you throw a bug in his mouth, he floats flying backwards. And I kind of missed there. But <laughs> even the barrel doesn't hurt you. The only thing that can hurt wow. you is the bugs. Or if you do really, really bad, he'll push you all the way over to that pit in the left. But you'd have to be, like, trying to, uh... You'd ha you either have to not know what you're doing or be purposely doing that in order to get killed by it. You know, so I yeah, all the way over here on the right is a really flimsy platform. In, in all honesty, yeah, you you'd think this would be kind of like one of the more final bosses, just because it's, it's every Kong's worst nightmare. Barrels have gained sentience. <laughs> yes. But yeah, we just leave it into a pit and let it think on its on its problems for all eternity. And that's the end of the Lake Rangatanga. But first we're going to go visit our uh, good old grandma and see what uh, she's up to. I think we're going to save in a cave. Oh hey, look, the birds are here. This bird, you mean all three of them? She's old, she can't see very much. <laughs> oh, you're just, oh, that's cold. You're just gonna walk away. Nobody oh, wow. wants to get a goodbye kiss. That's not cool. Uh, it's all about being cool. I guess. Well, we'll see you next time for Cremwood Forest. Awesome. See you then.